If Edward Manet had not existed, it would have been necessary to invent him. Without Manet, painters would have stayed in their studios for a while longer, painting pictures that illustrated scenes from mythology, literature, or the lives of great men. Without Manet, there would be no paintings of Parisian life in the Second and Third Empires, no painting outdoors, and no Impressionism. With Manet, on the other hand, all of modern art became possible. Yet, despite the innovations of Manet's paintings, the elimination of half-tones, the recognisable physical types of mid-19th century Parisians, the frank stares of his female sitters, there is an oddness about Manet's modernity. This is exemplified by the execution of the Emperor Maximilian I, which is a history painting in which all of the usual tropes of the genre have been decisively eliminated. Manet's history painting has soldiers, a cloud of smoke, a man reacting to being shot, a crowd of onlookers peering over a wall, yet the flat colours of the picture drain the image of drama and make all of the figures seem like actors playing the part of soldier, crowd and victim. Just as he did with Olympia and Le Déjeuner sous l'herbe, Manet takes a classical model and removes the pretensions to heroism and nobility. The drama becomes that of the artist who takes one final look back towards the past and discovers that he has encountered the future.